Hey, hey, Go Green here. Our friend Curtis has generously volunteered his time, and he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, some tea making tools. So uh, I'll start very quickly with strainers because they're available. Uh, you can see that they come in a variety of types. Uh, this one is mine, this one is Brad's. Um, you'll want to pick one according to the size of your uh, other equipment, which I'll discuss in a second. And um, they come in metal. Uh, at home I have one made of bamboo, which perhaps you can see another time. Uh, two types of tea strainer. This basically keeps bits of leaves and uh, other uh, detritus out of the tea proper and uh, helps with a secondary straining, the first step of which happens in the pot. This uh, is a small jug used to catch the tea. Uh, it comes from the teapot into this, which I'll talk about in a second. You see that they come in a variety of sizes. You'll want to pick one according to the size of the audience when you're serving tea. Next, of course, perhaps the most important, a teapot. You see that they come in also a variety of sizes and materials, uh, from dark clay to light clay. Uh, some people get really snooty about where the clay comes from um, and how it affects the tea. Um, the main key to remember is that some of them are made strictly by hand, some of them are made by machines, and uh, they will often have a small loop like this to keep the lid with the teapot that it came with. Um, this is partly because the lid needs to have a firm fit and uh, a light seal when it's placed on top. And uh, by keeping the lid together with the pot, you make sure that you don't get a misfit. You can see that the big ones also come in dark clay. They come in a variety of colors and shapes. These are pretty simple, uh, very traditional sort of pattern, um, but they also come more artistically built as well. Of course, to get the tea into your mouth, you'll need a tea cup. Once again, you can see a variety of sizes and shapes. Um, these are my traveling cups, so they're kind of cheesy, but uh, they come in a simple clay like the pots. They come into very complicated and painted pictures like this one as well, uh, usually a matter of personal taste. Although you can match them to the season, you can pick images relevant to the crowd, and so on. Um, the main thing is that you want to cup that will hold the tea, keep it essentially warm while you're drinking it, and uh, it should look nice. Now uh, here I've brought my tea box, which includes a uh, straining tray. Uh, if you look here, you can see a much simpler model, which is just uh, a metal strainer on top of a metal tray. The idea here is that it catches loose liquid because uh, spillage happens in this kind of tea service and uh, you need a place for it to go that's not your lap or the floor. And uh, so this conveniently catches it all or as much of it as it can. You uh, pick this according to size of uh, service and uh, of area. Sometimes these are made into a big table set that are fancy wood or stone. Um, you can see that this one conveniently stacks over here and can be carried one complete tea set all together for travel purposes. Hey, hey. The uh, actual hand tools that you may see or may need, um, a small scoop that uh, brings tea out of whatever receptacle it's in, into either the pot or into one of these, where you can display the tea for others. A set of tongs, uh, preferably wood, because wood has less of an effect on the uh, on the tea itself than something metallic. But uh, you can see that they come like this, uh, sometimes glued together, sometimes tied. Some people will have them like this. Um, I'm not a big fan of these because I find that they slip. These ones tend to stay a little bit more stable. Um, but it's a question of personal preference, what you like in your hand. Um, we have also small needles like this, which are used usually to get uh, small bits out of the tea pot. Um, clogs of leaves or uh, twigs sometimes um, can be poked through using something like this. Uh, you can also clean out the holes in the teapot. Um, for travel, I usually use something like this because it's a multitasker. It does two jobs at once. Uh, it has the pokey bit down here. It has the scoopy bit down here. Um, but if you don't have one of these, you can use something like this. This is used to uh, scoop leaves out of the teapot when you're done. Um, 
this way you don't have to get your finger all in there and um, you can uh, handle hot tea leaves just by uh, literally scooping them out. It's like a small wooden spoon as it were. Uh, some people like to keep their hand tools in a convenient container like this. This one's bamboo to match the tools. It's got some fancy words about tea on the side. Uh, sometimes this is important, sometimes it's not. Once again, every, uh, every tea person likes to make their own aesthetic. And uh, if you buy something like this, it may have it. You could sand it off if you didn't like it, for example. <laughs> or you could leave it there if you did. And uh, of course you need a source of fire or heat and uh, hot water. An aluminum uh, kettle is not usually recommended because of the way they behave with water and heat, uh, but uh, stainless steel or other types of metal, uh, clay pots also acceptable. And uh, your heat sources depend on where you are. We are using the stove. There they are. And that's it for tools. Thanks for sharing, Curtis.